think he will go with his uh, Miner and then Mean Horde again. So let's actually go with Goblin Gang. Let's go with Mean Horde to the side. Let's then go with Spear Goblins to the side. And let's see if we're able to counter this. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. The Rescue Boy is actually locked on, guys. And wow, this will be insanely close. Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will try to complete this Grand Challenge live for you guys. As you guys can see, right now I'm 9-1 in the Grand Challenge, so I can't afford losing once. And of course, I can't afford losing twice because then we'll be out. And I need to win 3 more battles to complete this Grand Challenge live for you guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a 12-1. That will be awesome. And I'll actually try it with, in my opinion, the best deck. And in my opinion, also the most popular deck in the game right now. And it's this Mortar Rascals deck. It's actually a bait deck because we have Minord, we have uh, Spear Goblins, Goblin Gang, Rascals. We do have 2 spells, but not a big spell like a rocket like a fireball we actually have two small spells the look and the zap as you guys can see miner is a tank it's actually really handy like the miner can deal like for example damage to the tower can tank for let's say a mean horde can tank for a goblin gang but also of course can take out like um elix collector and even on defense sometimes miner is um quite like good but in my opinion you don't even need defensive miner just because in this deck like the rascals are just so powerful guys they have such a good synergy because they can bait out a zap they or another zap they can bait out the lock i mean they can go with a goblin gang if they have a zap the rescue girls won't die if they have a poison they're kind of forced to like if they have a zap and a poison deck they are kind of forced to like poison the rescue girls that you can punish with let's say a mean or this deck just has such a crazy synergy and even if a deck has triple spell like you have so many uh units they can like um yeah use their spell on that you can basically always get value out of like a unit if they use for example i said like the lock then you have the goblin gang if they use the zap then you can go with a goblin gang or spear goblins to chip away or whatever i would say let's just open to the first match guys i do want to say something real quick if you hear a little bit of a background noise probably if i sometimes like i'm a little bit quiet i'll try to speak like as much as possible i think i always do that in every video but if you hear a little bit of a background noise actually because i have a fan on right now just because it's really warm over here and without the fan it would just well not be impossible to record but i would be like sweating all the time and stuff so i think right this like right now is the best way to record and also hopefully the audio won't be that bad hopefully you guys won't hear it or barely hear it so as i said let's just hop into the first match guys right now i'm not winning the grand challenge and i'll try to get to the 12 ins live for you guys so it looks like we're facing al sufi in the first match let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him the good luck so we start off with spear goblins we have rescals we have main horde goblin gang and i usually just like to start off with spear goblins just to see if they react to it if they don't react to it i think it's about like 300 chip damage so it looks like he actually has a Roy Ghost, and against the Roy Ghost, it's really important to let the Rescal Boy tank. So as you guys can see, I put the Rescal Boy tanking for the hit, because actually the Roy Ghost actually, um, like the hit actually one shot the Rescal Girls. So let's go with the Mortar right now, guys. We have the Rescal Boy tanking. Let's see if he drops something. Looks like he goes with a pack up, but we know that he used a lock. So let's first go with the Main Horde. Let's see if he uses like a spell. Maybe he has um, a poison. But let's see, if he does have poison, looks like he does have poison. The mean horde, like, doesn't die instantly to the poison, so we'll still be able to get a lot of damage to the P.E.K.K.A. As you guys can see, the mortar was still able to get a hit onto the tower, so let's actually go with a look for the uh, barrel. Maybe it wasn't needed, maybe the Goblin Gang would have just been able to finish most of it up, but looks like he kind of has, like, um, a P.E.K.K.A. bait deck with a, with a Royal Ghost, with a Princess, and a barrel, and then P.E.K.K.A. poison look so far. So pretty interesting deck, pretty rare deck from him. Let's go with the Zep over here. Hopefully the Miner, no, the Miner wasn't able to finish off the Princess. So let's go with Step Goal or Spear Goblins to the side. But even though he still needs to respond to it. So let's see what he drops. Look like he goes with his Roy Ghost. Unfortunately, I don't have enough for my uh, Rescal. So I actually go with a Goblin Gang once he's locked onto the tower. So of course the Roy Ghost will be able to, I believe, two hits on the tower. But let's see, looks like, actually, I think just one. But I'm not sure. Maybe it was still two. Didn't really see that. So he has a pretty interesting deck. So he has Princess, which will... Uh, quite be annoying like we will try to minor that but we definitely need to keep the look for his um goblin barrel of course so let's see what he drops guys we did chip away quite a bit to the right side tower or his left side tower uh, i mean but i don't really want to give him much poison value but i guess i will still go with a mortar over here so let's go with a mortar right now and let's see what he drops probably goes with another pekka looks like he does go with another pekka so let's actually go with a minor over here let's then go with a mean horde and let's see what he drops. Maybe he will support it. Maybe he will poison. I guess he will just poison over here. But let's see if he actually does. And if he doesn't, maybe the P.E.K.K.A. will be able to... No, the P.E.K.K.A. will be able to kill the Mortar. But we'll still be able to get one hit over there. So, so far, we're actually leading with damage, guys. So, let's go with Rescals in the back. Let's see if he goes with his Barrel again. Maybe this time, we don't even need to use the Look. But let's see what he drops. Looks like he goes with his um, Roy Ghost. I'll go with another Mortar, guys. Let's see if we outside with his P.E.K.K.A. I believe we did this time. We do have to look for the Barrel. Like, again, the look for the Barrel. Looks like he went with a Princess. But unfortunately, the Mortar didn't look on so let's actually go with a miner over here and i i expect him to pre-poison because that's what he's been doing all the time so i'll actually go with a goblin gang and um try to not give him too much value of course like three for four but this way the mortar will be able to get a little bit of more chip damage so let's go with um rescals to the side 
Let's actually go with a look over here and he gave us a really good look value. Also, this look will hit the rescue girls and then we can set up another mortar guys. We still have some spear goblins, we still have some rescue girls. Again, I will send the miner to his princess and let's see if he drops uh, like a goblin gang. Looks like he does drop the goblin gang. I'll go with the Zephyr over here. Let's see if the mortar looks on. Looks like the mortar actually looks on. I can go with rescues to tank for the royal ghost. He does go with a poison giving like I gave him quite a bit of a poison value. But I guess it's fine just because we actually want the mortar to get as much damage as possible. Looks like the mortar will get one more hit guys. Bring down the tower to 314 HP. So I'll actually go with spear goblins. Then I'll actually go with a log. I do know that he has a goblin, uh, like a goblin rare, of course, but I actually have goblin gang for that as well. So it looks like he goes with his uh, goblin gang, probably. There you go. There's the goblin gang and the miner with the help of the Zev will be able to take down left side tower, guys. So that's definitely a good game. Let's give him a well played and let's give him a thumbs up as well. So as you guys can see, 10 1 in the grand challenge right now. So the first match was quite interesting. I mean, he had quite a good of uh, like answers to our mortar. He, of course, had the Pekka, which is a huge tank. And he had the poison, he had the look, and then he had kind of like a bait, like also variation. He had the princess, he had rascals, goblin gang, and the goblin barrel as well. And then the royal ghost, quite interesting deck. I didn't see like a deck like this before, but we actually were able to manage to take the win. So let's see what we faced like the second match. Looks like we're facing NPO. Let's give him a thumbs up and let's give him a good luck. So we have the mean horde, we have look, we have goblin gang, except next card is a miner. So let's see what he begins with. If not, I can just split a goblin gang in the back. Maybe just use a sep. I mean, looks like he gives us um Zep value over there hitting like giving uh, or dropping the goblin gang at the bridge. I'm sorry So let's see if he drops something else. He probably also has a bait deck with goblin gang So it looks like he does just go with his rescues I'll actually go with my minor offensive and then I'll go with a minor to the rescue girl And then I'll go with a goblin gang looks like he doesn't have a look so he actually does have a zap So he was kind of forced to go with his um, With his bets over there and I'm kind of waiting for my main horde just to make sure the rescue is actually over here And then I will go with my main horde and I'll actually also set up uh, my own mortar so it looks like he does go with his goblin gang. I'll actually go with a zap over here trying to kill like the spear goblins and also re like retargeting his mortar. So of course we took quite a bit of damage there but I think this mortar like of our own will actually be able to get quite a good uh, chip damage as well. He does go with his bets as well. So I think the mortar will only be able to get one hit but knowing that he spent quite a lot of elixir I'll actually send in a miner and then spear goblins uh, like miner to tank and then spear goblins behind it. And he doesn't have much right now. Looks like he actually doesn't have the two spell variation so he's forced to go with his rescals. And way too late, we were already able to deal so much chip damage, guys. He actually gives us a really good luck. I was just trying to hit, like, the rescue girls, the boy, and the tower. But he also dropped his ice spear there. Of course, it's not too much, but one extra elixir. I mean, I will take that anytime. So, it looks like he does go with a goblin gang. I'll actually go with a zap, trying to let the spear goblins get a, mi a little bit of meter, uh, more of chip damage. I'm sorry. So, let's see. It looks like we did bring down the tower to 868 HP. And I guess, like, if he goes with uh, a mortar offensive, I'll just go with a mortar defensive. I don't really want to drop my rescals. Just because, of course, the rescal boy is a good tank. But the mortar should actually one-shot the rescal girl. So, let's see if he goes offensive. I'll actually go, like, offensive as well. Looks like he does go with his mortar. So, let's see what he drops. Looks like he goes with his uh, bets. I first want the mortar to look onto our mortar, of course. As I said, his mortar should one-shot the rescal girl. So, it looks like he actually went with a zap. I'll actually go with uh, Spear Goblins, then I will go with a look as well, and I will go with a Miner to tank. I have my Zep ready in case he goes with Spear Goblins, or Goblin Gang, I mean. Looks like he goes with a Goblin Gang. Bad Zep, actually, I missed the Spear Goblins. Uh, we did hit the, like, the, um, the tower, of course, and then the Step Goblins, but the Spear Goblins we missed. So let's actually go with a defensive mortar over here. Let's go with spear goblins to the side. And hopefully our mortar is still able to deal a little bit of damage. Looks like he did throw his fireball. So I'll actually go with my main order over here. And I will, then I will go with a miner to the tower. I kind of want to take down his tower. Just because then we can place units like right on top of his mortar. Since he's going for this. Like now we can actually place it right on top of the mortar. So let's see if he goes with another mortar. I still want to go with a defensive mortar. And then I'll actually uh, like drop troops right on top. Looks like he actually goes with his rescue. So I'll actually go with my goblin gang. Hopefully the mortar will actually shoot on the rescue girls. Looks like he didn't. So I'll actually go with a zap and then spear goblins behind it trying to kill the rescue girls. Looks like he also goes with his bets. But I think it's GG guys. I don't think he will be able to cycle uh, or get that amount of damage. It's actually like we don't even need to defend him. The time is already over. So let's actually give him the good game. Let's actually give him the well played. And let's give him a thumbs up as well. So as you guys can see, so pretty easy so far. I mean, this deck is, this deck is just insane guys. I'm sorry if the commentary is a little bit strange. I actually didn't record for quite a while. Like the last couple of two episodes I actually pre-recorded and then I spent some time with my family for like four days. So this is my first video in like a couple of days again. So I'm sorry if the commentary is a little bit strange. But 11-1 in the grand challenge right now guys. Like, as I, like I wanted to say like this deck is just simply insane in my opinion. Because I mean so far we didn't face any decks with like triple spell. For example giant double prince triple spell. But even against those decks of course you will struggle because they have so many answers to your units. But even when they uh, use the spell like you always have a unit where you can get value out of. So hopefully right now I actually face like a really hard counter and then hopefully I will be able to show you guys how to kind of work around it. Hopefully you win of course that will be awesome like a really close game against a hard counter. That will be awesome to end of the episode. 
but searching for our opponent and i would say let's just um like see when we find a match and then let's see what kind of matchup we get okay guys looks like we're finally in a match wow that took such a long time hopefully supercell actually gave us like a difficult matchup as i said i kind of want to show you guys how to work around that so as you can see we started with zep we have goblin gang we have red skulls and spear goblins so as i said i really like to keep up the pressure looks like he also does it so it might be actually a mirror match he actually does go with a goblin gang rather than his zep i'll go with my own goblin gang as well so looks like he does have kind of uh i guess the same deck but it also could be something else of course i mean so far he did show his spear goblins he actually played the same cards like so far so let's see what he drops guys he probably also goes with a mortar i'll actually go with my mortar right now looks like he decides to go with his rescos in the back so right now i'm actually more uh, aggressive than this guy but let's see what we can do so i will actually go with i guess i will go with a look over here trying to kill his um like rescal and then i will split the spear goblins two to the left side and then one towards the right side just because i don't want to take the damage over there from the one rescal girl just because it's a mirror match i guess every little detail counts so let's see if he will be able to kill those uh spear goblins looks like he is able to kill them so let's actually go with a minor offensive and let's see what he drops right now he might go with goblin gang defensive looks like he actually goes with his mean horde i'll actually go with my goblin gang then i'll go with my main horde to the side looks like he did use his zap so hopefully we're able to counter that and looks like with that push we were actually able to deal uh more damage to his left side because he ignored the miner trying to go offensive he actually spent 10 elixir over there and i think we uh defended with eight and then we spent three elixir on the, li on the right side so he's probably up about like one or two elixir right now but we're actually looking really good just because we actually got like the full minor chip damage over there so i'll actually go with my mortar over here then i will go with spear goblins offensive and i actually want to go with a miner towards his mortar just because i want uh our mortar to lock on so i'll actually go with a zap over there and looks like he actually went with his goblin gang so i'll actually go with a lock as well and let's try to uh, get the mortar locked on right now looks like the mortar will lock on looks like he does go with his uh rescal so while wow, the mortar is actually well it actually did shoot but that was so late so let's actually go with a goblin gang over here hopefully he doesn't predict us or anything and let's see if we're able to counter the push like as good as possible so of course he will get some chip damage just because the rescue girls do so much chip damage i think he actually wow he actually has a damage lead right now that's insane so let's go with spear goblins right now he actually does decide to go with a mortar again i'll actually go with my zap maybe the zap wasn't no the zap wasn't needed i, I thought the mortar was actually locked onto his mortar but let's see let's go with a minor offensive let's actually go with a lock over here really good lock and let's see what he drops he might go with his uh minor let's actually go with a goblin gang and let's see if he uh goes with a minor as i as i want to say or he will go with a lock actually so let's actually go with rascals in the back let's go with spear goblins let's actually go with a defensive mortar for his mortar hopefully the mortar locked on there you go the mortar did lock on so that's good for us let's go with a zap to the side and let's see if we're able to uh get our mortar locked on his mortar hopefully one of the rescue girls will actually like stay alive for us so looks like he did go with his lock as well so let's see guys he probably goes with his uh zap defensive for the goblin gang so i kind of want to wait with dropping the spear goblins but then i kind of want to follow it up with spear goblins let's go with a zap offensive and let's see if we're able to get some chip damage with the spear goblins and the minor tanking of course so it looks like the spear goblins are able to lock on let's go with a defensive mortar right now let's actually go with offensive main or defensive mortar was kind of bad i think his minions will actually be able to lock on let's go with a goblin gang to the side and let's see if we're able to defend these guys let's go with spear goblins to the side and let's see looks like we are able to defend it but actually barely let's go with a minor offensive let's see if he uses his spell looks like he does go with spear goblins let's go with zap over there looks like our spear goblins are able to lock on and actually are able to take down the like the tower quite low so let's see guys let's go with a look over here if he goes with the offensive mortar i will go with the defensive mortar but i think he will go with his uh minor and then main horde again so let's actually go with goblin gang let's go with main horde to the side let's then go with spear goblins to the side and let's see if we're able to counter this hopefully we don't take too much damage the rescue boy is actually locked on guys and while wow, this will be insanely close let's go with a look offensive let's then go with a minor and let's see if we're able to win this mirror matchup guys looks like the miner is actually tanking right now the spear goblins are still alive let's go with goblin gang offensive and he does go with a minor but i think we will be able to while well, we actually were able to deal uh or get the hit in like quicker well wow, that was actually insane guys we actually managed to win that by 30 hp he actually threw the zap and then his miner didn't hit i thought the miner actually hit and then it left it at 30 hp but he actually threw the zap and then the miner was about to hit but our push was actually able to win at first so i think i did make quite a lot of mistakes in the mirror match but that was actually really interesting to play a mirror match with this deck i'm pretty sure if you guys will copy this deck and try it out in the grand challenge you will also face like some mirror matches so hopefully you guys saw what i uh kind of did like on defense there and then offensive i tried to be a little bit more aggressive but some Sometimes I actually misclicked, for example, Zep on his Spear Goblins when my mortar was locked on the Spear Goblins, so that like I wasted Zep actually. And the Zep is pretty key, like against the main horde, for example. I kind of recommend using the lock on the Rescue Girls, but of course, if he has like like on the end, for example, if he has a Goblin Gang there, if he has Spear Goblins there, of course you should throw your lock and then try to maybe counter the Rescues with like let's say a mortar shot, because as I said, the mortar does kill like in one shot the Rescue Girls. But I would say let's just get into the chest opening, guys. 12 one in the Grand Challenge, so that's actually really nice. We were able to get three wins in this episode. Really lucky at the 
the end actually 30 hp like that game was insane imagine we took the tower at the same time and then actually go like into uh like a two tower situation that would actually be insane guys but let's get into the chest opening as i said so let's see what we get looks like we start off the app or the chest opening with some gold which is always nice let's see what we get next so we get some ice spirit we get some zaps we get tesla we get goblin hut we get bomb tower we get some dark goblins we get bomber we get Valkyrie, we get some Goblin Gang, let's see what else we get, we get some Mortar, that's funny, we use Mortar, and we get Mortar, and let's see what our, uh, like, the other cards are, hopefully we get some Rascals, looks like we get some Barbarians, unfortunately some Barbarians, I wish these were, like, 454 Rascals, but instead they gave me some Barbarians, but I guess we don't get a Legendary, I guess we get some Rares right now, and then we end off the chest with some Epics, let's see what kind of Rare we get, looks like we get si uh, 67 Battle Rams, so unfortunately I do have it max, but of course there will be some extra gold, so that's nice, and looks like the Epic is actually Guard, so that's actually really good, 105 out of the 200, i'm actually really happy with this epic guards is in my opinion such a good card so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode pretty good chest opening at the end and as i said try this deck out this is just in my opinion a broken deck guys like i'm not really sure what like hard count is this even like the decks with triple spell fortunately didn't face in uh face it like in this episode but even the decks with triple spell like you can beat those just because you have so many units they can use their spell on and the rascal girls are just like dps wise super insane especially with combination like with the main art so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.